Hey you guys, welcome back for another edition of Character Speed Painting with me, Marcus Sakota. Today's Character Speed Painting will be of none other than the Dodger. Dodger is a girl gamer person who has a couple of YouTube channels. On her main channel, press heart to continue, she talks about video game news, and in her other channel, Coffee Time, she drinks coffee and talks about whatever's on her mind. She is also part of the Game Station, another channel that does a lot of video game media stuffs. I'll put links to her channels in the description below. Alright, so some quick info about this painting. Uh, it took two hours and 30 minutes to paint. Probably spent like an hour on her face. Spent like an hour on the shading on her upper lip. No, okay. So, an hour on her face and like an hour and a half on her bedroom. Ugh, there's so much stuff to paint. Hardest part was probably getting the wall colors the way I wanted them. I had to keep glazing over them to adjust the hue to the right temperature. Because like, this cool light's coming in, making the room in a warm shadow. But there's also cool light bouncing off the walls and making it cool again. Yeah, but enough of that artsy mumbo jumbo stuff. Uh, people are asking me about the layers. I only used four layers in this one. The sketch layer, then a base tone under that, um, and then a layer above those where I do pretty much the rest of the painting. Um, I use one last layer for the background. Um, and that was underneath the layer um, that I'm painting right now. I usually paint the background on the same layer, but this one was a bit complicated and I didn't want to have to fuss around the edges of her face. Uh, someone else asked me about brushes, and I use just one brush. It's uh, Brush 24, it's a default Photoshop brush, and I have it set to pen pressure. Opacity and flow are at 100%. Oh, and the canvas size is at 8.5 by 11, uh, 300 dpi. So, I came across Dodger after seeing her in a couple of Husky StarCraft videos. Uh, his skydiving fan subscriber video and his Baneling video. Husky and her also featured in a lot of the Game Station videos like Iron Gamer. She's been around for a while, I think, but... I've only just started watching your videos. It's funny, cause like right after I subscribed to her channel, she did a vlog on her on her coffee channel about speed painting. And when I saw the title, I was like, "What is this gonna be about me?" And then it wasn't. <laughs> but anyways, she says she likes them speed painting videos, so I supposed I will paint one. And then maybe she'll give me some props and send some of her followers my way. Basically, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to gain a following by leeching off other YouTubers' fame. I mean, I think I've got something worth watching. I just need a way to show it to more people. And I think by doing speed paintings of the really popular YouTube guys, I can show everybody what I can do. Oh. But uh, the really important part is having them tell everyone about my videos, like tweet or post it on their Facebook page or link it in their YouTube video or favorite it. That's what really gets the views to Avalanche in. Um, that's what happened with my Husky StarCraft speed painting video. He favorited it and I think that showed up on everyone's YouTube homepage. I got like... 10k views in two days for someone who's quite new to this uploading videos to YouTube thing it's pretty darn exciting like I've probably gotten more views on my YouTube videos in the past few weeks than I have uh, with all my other artwork in the past year and a half when I post my artwork on art forums there's only like one or two responses of people saying cool or great work but on youtube 
there's like an endless stream of views and comments and there will always be people searching for speed paint videos so I'll probably still be getting hits on my videos years from now all right let's talk about some current events like how I'm going to New York this weekend woohoo I got uh, two pieces of artwork into the Society of Illustrators student scholarship competition um, there's a gallery in New York uh, called the Society of Illustrators and um, it's pretty prestigious and I guess they hold a competition each year for art schools around the country um, my pieces didn't win any scholarships but I'm pretty psyched to have my artwork hung up in a gallery in New York so I'm just gonna go over there for the opening reception and hopefully meet some cool people talk to some art reps maybe I'll get lucky and get uh, some representation um, so that's going down on Friday evening and then I'm going to tour New York for the rest of the weekend I'll try and see all the big touristy places like Times Square, Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, Central Park, Ground Zero, and uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge. I'm also going to eat as much food as I can. For anyone who knows stuff about New York, you should totally leave some suggestions of what to do when I get there. Uh, places to see, food to eat, yeah. Well, this painting is almost done. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment telling me what you think. And if you haven't already, um, subscribe because I am a painting madman and I will be uploading lots more paintings probably like twice a week if not more depending on how busy my schedule is so uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time